Hello there. Firstly, I want to address the viewers that watch these videos regularly. Yes, we're still making Emerald Rogue videos. We're not just streaming the game. We're still making videos, I promise. It's been a hectic month. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, uh, but I appreciate your continued patience and support on uh, the Emerald Rogue content. I really want to 100% this game, uh, so I'm going to. Today, we're taking a look at my mono flying run. When I was first going into these mono runs, I honestly thought they would be relatively easy. I thought I would only really struggle with ice types because, you know, ice types are bad. But as we saw last time with fighting types, the difficulty comes from finding the Pokemon of that type. It's just pure RNG. And then if you end up getting put up against a bad matchup, say for example, with mono flying, if we get put up against rock, ice, or electric types, it could spell the end of the run. Thankfully, uh, flying types are pretty diverse. As of generation 9, there are 132 flying types, and four of them are pure types. Flying is typically slapped on as a secondary type, so lots of diversity in this run. I chose Skarmory as my starter because, I mean, it's a steel type. Steel types are absolutely nuts, and Skarmory is just an incredible Pokemon. If you've ever played competitive Pokemon, you will know how much of a menace Skarmory can be. On my way to the first gym, I discover Wingle in the grass, which is awesome because, I mean, Caliper's an amazing Pokemon. All they had to do to that Mon was give it Drizzle and it went from like zero to hero. Like, Caliper is nuts. And then I discovered Magikarp is one of my two water encounters for this run. Getting a good encounter in the water greatly increases your chances of winning because I can just have a team of six Gyaradoses if I want to. I decided to leave it for now though because I didn't really want to over level it to level 20 with rare candies. I figured I may as well just wait until I beat the first gym and then I can pick up a Gyarados because the level cap goes from 15 to 25. On the next route I get a Woobat which is you know, it's not the best flying type ever, but it's it's quirky and different. So why, yeah, sure, why not? Let's use that. Beggars can't be choosers with these monotype runs. That is something I have learned the hard way. Our first gym challenge is against Wallace, which is honestly great because I would say that some of the biggest threats in just Emerald Rogue in general is the water trainers. Permanent rain is no joke, regardless of what type you are. So taking a water type trainer off the board this early on i will i will never complain about something you need to know about uh, emerald rogue runs the only time i really struggle against the first gym leader is when they are a dragon trainer and they use dragon rage there's there's literally nothing i can do about that so besides those instances most of the time we win our first gym fights with ease and this was no different i finally picked myself up a gyarados evolve my Pokemon, catch a Deathwater Delibird along the way, and now it's time to take on Gym 2, which is Lisa. Before I tell you how that went, I want to say thank you to our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Just like how repels will stop wild Pokemon from trying to attack you, ExpressVPN will stop hackers from trying to steal your private information. Unlike how repel though, ExpressVPN can give you access to restricted parts of the internet, which I'm sure you've heard of before, but I promise it can come in clutch. Being in a long distance relationship and wanting to watch TV shows and movies that are exclusive to America has made a VPN a must have. And if security and accessing content isn't enough, ExpressVPN also protects you from ISPs selling your data to ad companies. To get ExpressVPN, just use my link in the description and you'll get your first three months free. Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. Besides a few annoying status conditions, the psychic types were relatively easy to defeat. Now between gym two and three, I didn't actually find any more teammates, which was surprising. I genuinely thought that flying types should be a little bit more common. So my main focus before gym three was to teach my Pokemon better moves and that I did. Now that my team is a lot more stacked, we can take on Koga, the third gym leader. He's a poison type trainer and I have Skarmory. What do you think is gonna happen? Oh, okay, he died to the rocks. Easy. One thing I also enjoy doing in these monotype runs is attempting to get a legendary Pokemon of my type. It's usually a huge gamble because, I mean, getting the legendary Pokemon that corresponds to the type that you're currently attempting, it's unlikely. Uh, but there's a decent amount of flying type legendaries, so I gave it a shot and we got Eternatus. Poison Dragon doesn't fit for our team, unfortunately. After that, we went ahead and took on our fourth gym leader, Giovanni. Now you would think that because Giovanni is a ground type trainer and ground types can't affect flying types that I would have it easy. Well, you see, gym four is usually when Emerald Rogue kind of steps it up a notch. Giovanni has permanent sandstorm and he also has a stunfisk, which uh, I sacked 
my Deli Bird too. Besides that though, uh, I have a Gyarados, which is super effective on Giovanni's team. Uh, so it was a fairly easy victory, but ironically the toughest battle so far has been a ground type trainer. That Stunfisk was a reminder that I have a huge weakness to electricity and I need to get a Gliscor or a Landorus as soon as possible. There are other things that can work, like for example a Dragonite would be neutral towards electricity instead of weak to it, which is good, but Gliscor or Landorus would be perfect for a run like this. The next route we're spoiled for choice. We have Drifloom, Zatu, Farfetch'd and Swoobat as our four possible encounters. So we fill up the last two team slots with Drifloom and Zatu. I already have a Swoobat and Farfetch sucks. And then like the good trainer I am, I give these new Pokemon better movesets, abilities, stats, you name it. I got distracted a bit by my cat, but now it's finally time to take on Gym 5, Whitney. Over the years, normal type has become my favorite type. And a big part of my love for normal types is just how diverse they are as Pokemon. They can learn so many crazy moves and there's a lot of really cool Pokemon uh, that are part normal type. Heliolisk, Ndidi, Hisui and Zoroark, just to name a few. Whitney displays in this battle why normal types are crazy good. All right, Persian. Damn it, MD summoned a cat. Persian's scary because Persian can do many things, but usually just fakes out. Persian's not an issue at all. He's gonna withdraw Persian. Okay, bye bye. Oh, that's an issue. Awesome. Another electric type just for me. Like I said, electric types are a problem. It's trying to find different ways to throw electric types at me. I hate it, man. After looking at all my Pokemon stats, I determined that Drifloom is probably the bulkiest and most likely Pokemon to tank a hit. Oh, shit. That's gonna hurt. Come on, Joji. Okay. After seeing how much damage Drifloom took, I have a couple options. Uh, option one, I can let Drifloom die. Option two, I can let something else die. Or option three, I can see if the AI will maybe make a mistake. Maybe the AI will predict me to switch and use Hyper Voice or something. I don't know, it's the AI. The AI is stupid sometimes. Maybe the AI will start using Thunders, trying to KO me in one shot and it will miss. So I use a couple potions and the AI won't budge. It keeps Thunderbolting me. At that point, I decide to check if uh, I may be out speed. I'm probably wasting resources here. Yeah, he's, he has speeds, okay. I send in Swoobat with the assumption that having gained EVs on it, uh, we should definitely outspeed Heliolisk and I was right. Unfortunately, Swoobat doesn't have the best offensive presence and we're not even able to take out the Heliolisk. At least this thing has speeds, but it's probably not strong enough to kill. Yep. I think this was a huge misplay. Swoobat gets the simple ability. Uh, had I calm minded, instead of going plus one, plus one in our special attack and special defense, we would have went plus two, plus two. And maybe the plus two special defense would have allowed us to take a hit and then deal more damage to the Heliolisk. Yeah, I should have calm minded. That was a fumble on my behalf. This is why I need a choice card for Pelipper, man. Pelipper just handles it. I think I have to sack something and then heal. I'm just gonna sack views, whatever. I don't see how views lives either because uh, 143 HP, 90 special defense. This got one shot with more HP in the, but this, it's a sim, it's similar bulk. So go ahead, Thunderbolt. I've had to sacrifice three Pokemon just to take out this one Heliolisk. Granted, I definitely misplayed, but at best I would have still lost one Pokemon guaranteed just because there's an electric type that I can't take hits from. So if it wasn't obvious, uh, the plan was heal Skarmory, take a hit from Heliolisk, uh, go down to Sturdy and then finish off the Heliolisk. And then hopefully we can just beat the rat. It's a, it's, we're fighting a normal type trainer, by the way, not an electric type trainer. So we should hopefully have an easier time with the rest of the gym. Don't fully paralyze me. Okay, Skarm lived. Bless. Hey, it's my friend Ndidi. I love Ndidi. Just show me Thunderbolt. Okay. That's fine. This thing's scarfed. Beware. I love Beware. Thunder punch me. Go on. Just have Thunder Punch. Just just do it. Just Thunder Punch me. Okay, Shadow Claw, that's fine. Hurricane this boy. Aranguru is fine. Bro fing used Trick Room, then protected to waste a turn of his Trick Room. Alright, get out of here. Who could have guessed that after Heliolisk was out of the picture, the rest of the gym was pretty easy? 
I checked out more routes to try and add more flying types to my team so I could do my best to salvage this run. Uh, but unfortunately, there were none. And would you look at that? Gym number six is an electric type gym. I'm, I'll just let it play. Okay, buddy. What a fun time. Mm -hmm. he's, he's running a lore, but okay. I wish I taught Gyarados in Dragon Dance right now. Yeah, no, I think I think we just lose. I don't think there's anything we can do. Uh, Bolt on that speeds everything. Just does damage. I could stall its Lorb to death. That yeah, speeds me, right? Yep. Okay. One more. Nice. Okay. One Pokemon down. Four to go. A Lola Chew. Awesome. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. Yeah, nothing I can do. So from doing that first flying run, I learned that I need something that can at least somewhat take an electric move. Skarmory already has rock types and ice types on lockdown in terms of being neutral to them. A dragon flying type, an electric flying type, or preferably a ground flying type would be ideal. But I can't really control the encounters much. We just have to hope we get lucky. Let's start. Wet route, gloomy. Can I just catch some birds, man? I just want to catch some birds. Let's go this way because it gives us the most routes. Confusing, mighty, or confusing. <laughs> Let's just do this. I just want us to have the chance to get a f***ing um, Gligar. Gligar would help so much. All right, what water types do we have? A Basculin. I wish he would evolve. Froki. Oh, damn it. I'm sick of Froki, man. Magical route. Ah, oh, there's Gligar. Told you. That's what we needed. I'll probably catch another one. This is the first time this route has done something nice for me. Yeah, I might just grab Ninja Ass. Maybe release this idiot. Bye bye. All right. Another Gligar, please. Ooh, that one's got some crazy stats. Okay. Sheesh. Don't worry. I've got plans with these Gligars. Don't even worry about it, guys. I've got plans. Gym one, I think. God. You know what? Go ahead. Yeah, show me Watson. Tell Watson I said, what's up? Okay. Koga, that's fine. And of course, he sends in an electric type as his first Pokemon. I want to die. Ugh, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Rattled. Oh, you're a little rattled? Did I rattle your cage? Bruh. Okay. Skarmory will handle this. It's fine. And a frog. Hello, frog. Farewell, frog. Gym one isn't ever a problem. All good. Okay, let's see. Typical swarming. Well, that's all we get. Let's do typical. The froge. Monkey. I've always got this soft spot for Passimian. I can't really explain it. Ah, oh, that's a flying type, I guess. But is it better than four Gligars? Not too sure about that one. I, I don't I don't know what Unpheasant could do better than a, than a Gligar. It's called Ghost Immunity, which I'm thinking about. I think I'll just pass. I'll pass on it. Fennekin. Sucks. Inkata again. Tyrogue. Houndour. That's it. Okay. We deal with more Gligars, I suppose. The Gligar run's gonna be the one. Trust. I will say, do not sleep on the ghost immunity. I may be a fool for sleeping on it. The ghost immunity is very tight. This game loves handing me razor fangs when I can't use them. So where's the razor fangs at, bro? Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I think this is the... Yeah, Blady's the worst one. Okay, let's trade away Blady. Please give me a flying type in return. A flying type. That has not got any wings. <laughs> he stole... He stole Blady. Gligar learns Roost. That's my f***ing hero, man. I should have bought Earthquake. Jim flying. Oh, wow. Okay. Flying man versus flying man. How will this turn out? Mirror match for real. Two emo flying men. Stop. Why would you call me emo? God, I wish that were me. Later tonight, I'm going to shiny hunt. Aura Kario. Is it, is it Sensu style? The, the ghost one. The ghost one is my favorite one. For years, the, my favorite one is the fire one. But no, nah, the ghost one is so f***ing cool. Cheeto. What are you doing on the opposite team? You have Surf. All right, buddy. All right, buddy. He's got Hurricane too, apparently. Get out of here, bro. And then we got Zatu to deal with. Nice. Love a Confuse Ray. Oh my God, almost low-coded it. Nice. Let's do the tough route, even though I'm probably going to regret it. Any flying types? Oh, that's a flying type. Let's f***ing go. Another ice resist, baby. I'll, I'll bird up to that. You can have a, you can have Roost as a treat. We're encountering the opposite problem now, where we need um, Gyarados or Pelipper back. <laughs> All right, let's drop Whirlwind, I think. It's a bit too gimmicky. Oh, I didn't mean to... Sorry. My bad, bro. There you go. All right, two badges. Let's continue. How's it going? Uh, I'm only at gym two right now. Bugsy! Oh, man. I'm so glad to see you. Ugh. That's easy. Have some pebbles, my friend. Volby. Bye-bye. Farewell. Easy. Oh, we got a legendary over there. Breezy. That's that's flying types, right? Let's check it out. Flying types, question mark? A halucha cha 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 A weeping bell. And an aerodactyl. Oof. Getting spoiled for choice. Let's do it then. Let's get aerodactyl on the go. Um, I'm pretty sure in terms of stats, our best one is Soshi. So I think we'll, we'll just keep Soshi, unfortunately. Let's get rid of Vamp for now. All right, we're using Halucha again briefly. 
Sorry, friend. Now, do I go for the calm sharp or do I go for the potential legendary? Dude, beans on toast is fire. I don't care what anybody says, man. You guys have never struggled in your life if you never ate beans on toast. I think we try and go for every legendary we can. I'm going to avoid this trainers because they're not worth it. Ah, 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 that's a trainer right there. Oh, God. Excuse me, small child. Can you please look to the left? Okay, that works. Dubious disc. A water stones. Full heals. Net balls. Hyper potions. Yeah, f God damn it, you guys distracted me. Mega Houndoom, dude. What the f*** is your problem, bro? I'm honest, I could just escape rope, but I don't know if I want to waste it right now. Can I just get the Razor Fang? Like, what? The They're usually everywhere, man. Ah! God damn it, bitch. Fine, Ponyard sucks. Ponyard fell off. Ratio, Scrafty. F*** off Malamar. Her. Ah, there's so many trainers in this route. I just want my f***ing items, man. Dude, why is there literally f***ing... Okay. Thumbnail screenshot. Oh my... Dude, there's literally infinite trainers. I, okay, he's he is he is the final boss. Nuggets or super repel. Okay. Oh god, okay. Thank f***ing god. I've not battled you either. Oh, there's an item down there, though. Is he... Does he ever... Does he ever look... Oh, f Dude, that's... I'm on the stairs, bro. Okay. Charizard. Oh my f***ing god. You're an asshole. Jesus Christ. Mega Charizard. Tough routes are a plague. <sighs> okay. Just let me out. I'm, I'm, okay, there's two items down there now. God f***ing damn it, dude. Scones? Yes. Uh, scones? Scones is how we pronounce it. I just, I, I just got my my American reflex. Fighting for my life just to roars and returns. Okay, you know what? They're not awful. All right, I have drained of this route. Holy f***. Oh, great. I, I I shouldn't have just ran forward. Okay. I could I could have just walked out. I, this was a... This was a waste. All right, well, we have to use our free heal already. That's fine. I don't ever really use them much anyway. Okay. Well, we can't say we didn't try. Oh, I'm really glad we've got decent Pokemon now. Oh, great. What food do y'all have? The... It's not about what we have, what you don't. It's more just the quality of the food in the UK is better because American food is jam-packed, filled with f***ing preservatives and honestly, just sugar. It's like Ameri like we actually have like f***ing sugar tax and sugar over here. America is like, yeah, this bowl of cereal is five times more amounts of sugar than you should have the entire week, but go ahead. Okay, ice types. I'm so glad I led with Skarm. I'm gonna set up the rocks for this one. Thunder Punch, okay. Okay, we should be fine. The U USA definitely has better packaging though, and also has like just bigger quantities of food. Another thing I don't like about America though, is when I go to the store and I see, oh, I mean, it's not like I actually count the price. Oh, wait, do you have the boots? He has boots. F you. When I go to the store and I'm like, ah, oh, this is five dollars. It's like, oh, and then oh, plus tax. It's fing five dollars eighty five cents. And I'm just like, dude, why, like, why do you not just include tax in your price? Like, what the? F what is wrong with y'all? I don't count or anything like that. But like, we don't have to worry about that here. All right, Arctivish. Uh, I'm not too concerned. Okay, he's faster than me. Why is an Arctivish faster than me? Is he? Does he have like a? Does he have Slush Rush? He must have Slush Rush. His own Lorb took him out. Honestly, just taxes in general is stupid. All right, star. I'm so glad we're running a Steel type move. Bless whoever suggested this in chat. Steel type coverage is definitely needed. Nice, nice. I mean, I don't mind. Like, I'm not saying taxes shouldn't be a thing. It's just like I'm more just okay. So taxes, fine. Sorry. We beat the gym. Yay, gym three or four was it? I don't remember. My brain. Gym four. Taxes, fine, but they don't teach you how to do that in school. They just make it so convoluted. They basically make it, it feels like they make it hard on purpose just so you will slip up and so you will get in trouble. That's what it feels like. It sucks. Uh, let's, let's check out the strong Pokemon to see if it's, hello. I didn't quite, is that like a gen seven mon? It's a gen seven mon and it's also a flying type. Let's go. I'm so glad I gambled. Now, the only thing is, I don't know if I want to swap it with anything. Um, I'm tempted to get rid of Halucha because I used Halucha before for rock and steel gyms. Uh, I mean, can I introduce you to my my fire type and my ground type? I, I, I do think Halucha is better. I've already used a Halucha on a fighting monotype team though, and I just kind of overusing it, you know? I'm gonna use a Minior because I want to. I think it was definitely probably the wrong choice, but I don't care. I just want to have fun. All right, let's do this. Ah, oh, Brock. Okay. That's a rock type. Um, you're sturdy. Oh, Jesus. Okay. That is a problem. I'm not seeing Gligar taking the hit much better, to be honest. Um, I think I just have to swap between roosting and stuff. We should be okay though. This is, this is gonna be... Okay, he swapped. Thank God. Colossal. Um, let's do this. Okay. He really wanted rid of those rocks, huh? Gabe does do a little bit of lying. Gabe literally lies about everything, bro. Gabe met like Jamie for the first time and told him that he was like 35. And then he fucking did the same thing with um Kai. He was like, oh, I'm 35. It's like, dude. Um, hmm. 30? No? 
Head smash? Yep. God damn, bro. God damn. Okay. Look who it is. Yeah. Mm. Okay, we can. Okay. Sand Veil will help us avoid. Okay, no, he protected. Okay, good. Hopefully, Sand Veil will help. Okay. He dealt with Okay, okay. I like. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Uh, you, you can head smash me and, like, damn near Oko me, but sure. Send in the dog. Okay. What the dog doing? Yeah, we're faster somehow. I don't. I guess we were jolly for a while, huh? Protect again? Yep. Dog, you're gonna die. Why are you spamming protect? Is he, did he run out of head smashes? There's no way. Okay. He. I, he really just did not want to like, he really didn't want to be earthquaked at all lycan rock's like one of the fastest mons ever what do you mean i don't think it was banded i think head smash is really strong metal burst okay thank god i was so worried about metal burst i just remembered nice all right brock was actually easier than i expected it was a little scary at first but we did it nice okay i think the best way for her to go is this way two encounters here arrow there we are we got pelipper ah thank god um no i'm not sure how to get rid of i mean pelipper can nerf town flame but I, it doesn't matter like i need something i'm not gonna not use it i've got like okay i am very weak to water i need to resist i'm not swapping at town flame you're insane zip leave zip alone i'm probably thinking minior or zip i do want to use a minior but like we've got mega aerodactyl yeah i think we'll do that as much as i want to use a minior what are we rocking with pelipper those stats are insane my word ah oh, finally let's go let's go my big boy any toxic orbs i don't think there's any toxic orbs here unfortunately yeah Sag. What a pretty sick team going, man. I'm really happy with this team. Okay, I want to be bold. Let's get this shit done quick. Ah, dragons. Okay. Lancy boy. Ah, Gudra. Do you love Gudra? What are you what are you working with, Gudra? Thunderbolt? Okay. Flamethrower too. Okay. Let's go into Sashi. Sludge bomb. Oh, please poison me. Please just poison me. Nah. Sad. Now I'm nervous about having king like a water move or something, because Gudra is just a mm, it's not gonna thunderbolt at least. So ice beam? Do you have ice beam? Lane throw? Okay. Now we're gonna go back into fly score. Alright, I'm just gonna earthquake. Yep, okay. Well, I just had to make sure I didn't have anything anything crazy. Appleton? We sent that out for a reason, huh? What does Appleton do? I don't think it's anything crazy for fly score. Ah, there you go. Jesus Christ. That's what Appleton do. Get out of here, man. Paul, I am I am not outspeeding a Paul any day of the week. I'm just gonna roost whatever it does to me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna set up rocks. I feel like that has to be specs damage, maybe. I'm not sure. A little bit of the old razzle dazzle. Pedo found one use. Crazy. A turtinator, that's fine. Wait, he's got boots on. Okay. Turtinator's wearing his fucking crocs, man. Pelipper, you can take a Draco, huh? Okay, fire blast, that, that works too. He's got his Tims on. I miss when Tim's the Tim's meme. It's funny. He just fire blast. Easy. Easy enough, man. Get out of here. I think we're caught up to where we were before. Before we got fucking rolled. So, roughly. I think, yeah, roughly, so. Oh, hey, Garchomp. Oh, hey, Mega Garchomp. You outspeed me? What? I did not see that one coming. I hate death so far. That's my, well, there you go. I mean, we're not doing deathless, so it's not a big deal. I don't think there's anything I'd really want to switch into. Skarmory, mm -hmm. maybe Skarmory. I thought Skarmory had lower health than it, than it actually does. There's a swords dance. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Mm -hmm. And he, he's just swords dancing a lot. Jesus Christ. Get out of here, bro. Probably a wipe. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think you're right, Rex. It's definitely definitely a wipe. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think we go the legendary way. Let's do it. Oh wow, that's a flying type, I guess. I mean a flying type's a flying type, am I right, boys? My brother. Oh no. Do I just die? That was completely my bad. You know what? If you can't live a drill pack from a Fero, I don't want you, bro. Zip died for this Fero, so this Fero better be f***ing amazing. I'm starting to get into the habit of remembering that I can do that. I can catch shiny Pokemon and then like... Wait. Oh, wait. No! I didn't release it! Okay, nah, I'm not accepting that. I'm not accepting that, bro. I'm abusing. I'm abusing. I will let Ninjask die again. I didn't get it on camera anyway because I wasn't fully here. Wait, it gives me different encounters? Oh, wow. Okay, that is not okay. That is not okay. It gives you different encounters? Oh, I did not know that. I am not know that. F that is the exact reason why I never catch shiny Pokemon because people are always like, oh, you can just release them afterwards. And in the back of my mind, I'm like, oh, my team's full. I said no to keeping it. It's whatever. It's fine. What we'll do is we will punish ourselves. I, I just, oh, I can't release it. Okay. We are going to release Zip. I will just forfeit having a Pokemon from this route. I didn't lose the run. So, what, okay, I'll explain if anybody's just stepping in now. So I found a shiny Rattata and I caught it. And then I completely forgot to release it because I'm, I'm, I'm just used to having six Pokemon. So I was like, ah, 
I said no to keeping it. It's it, it's it's went back into the wild. I've just got a shiny Rattata in the Safari Zone. I I I ran into a battle to train up my Pokemon, and then I it was like, oh well, you're not you're not mono flying anymore. So that's literally the exact reason why I haven't been catching shiny Pokemon. The first time I ever do it, I fuck up. All right, we'll forfeit an encounter in this route. We were meant to have a Firo, which, you know, it's, it's not really a huge forfeit, but I did lose Zip and I did lose Firo. So people might just be like, oh, well, you should reset the whole thing. But like, bro, I've spent an hour and a half on this shit. I'm making the game harder for myself because I I'm, I'm, don't have Firo anymore, which is a free death fodder. And I don't have my um, my Ninjask because I uh, completely just fumbled it. I was just in another dimension, apparently. I, I'd be pressed if you start over again. I think people would be more upset about that, to be honest. Don't make the same mistake! Punishing myself. I could have had a shiny Crobat. Could have. I could have had it. Could have had it all. Magical or average. Oh, uh, let's do average confusing. All right, let's do this. All right, now we're continuing. Ooh, okay, wait. Hold on. I'm cooking. Oh, wow, that's another flying type, huh? That that sure is another flying type. And yo, never punished. Never punished. And encounters in this route are fucking insane, dude. Uh, I'll make you jolly. Big jolly guy. And then we'll make Togit kiss i guess we'll make it modest so what does toki kiss evolve with again because in my brain i think it's dawnstone right but in my brain the dawnstone and the shiny stone should just be merged into one item there was no reason for there to be two separate items why do we have a dawnstone and a shiny stone they are literally the same thing like like I, I, how how are they how do we have so what, what the f evolves a dawnstone then what the f what the f is the point of a dawnstone Gallade? Is it just Gallade? Gallade and Frost. Oh, so it's gender evos. I actually never knew that. Uh, you learned Honchkrow, that's Duskstone. Uh, okay, I never knew that. You learn something new every day. Yeah, I still think it's pointless. I don't think they should be a thing. I think they should be dissolved. I mean, in fucking Pokemon Go, they literally made a Sinnoh Stone because of how many fucking evolution methods there are. Honestly, my team has improved a lot. Wait, another? Wait, another flying type. Are you serious? Bro, actually suffering from success. What else do we have? An Empoleon, a false, a false flying route. All right, please give me a flying type, even though my team is kind of crazy right now. I don't know if there's anybody I would really swap out. That's an Ultra Beast for sure. Is it Zerkatry? Oh no, it's Necrozma. Okay, this is Gym 7. I have $8,000. All right, let's do this. Misty, okay. I've not seen Misty in a while. Toxapex. I love facing Toxapex. Have some pebbles. Okay. They're setting up Toxic Spikes against a flying team. I just realized that now. I, okay. I don't know why I was concerned. I, okay. I'm, I was like, how do I get rid of these Toxic Spikes? I'm literally a full flying team. What is wrong with me, dude? I ran out of PP and I don't think I've got any ethers or anything. My head is not in the game today, boys. I was just thinking war types are really like one of my biggest weaknesses. And fighting Misty right after that. Mmm, I love it. Knock off, that's fine. I ain't got no item. Just let me get to plus six. Thanks. All right. Now, for, unfortunately, we only have dragon move. So if we were to run into a, say, a water fairy type. Okay, that is not a water fairy type. Let's go. Dragon rush is still landing. Let's go. Nice. Polytoad. Okay. Hey, buddy. Um, I don't want to miss. Okay, let's do it. I think if they were to have a fairy type, they would have sent it out by now. But maybe not. Maybe they... Yeah, okay. I think we're good. Uh, we're breaking any potential sash with um south rock too so that's good all that will really save her right now is a nice shardmon we're, we're plus six if this doesn't oh code dragonite doesn't deserve to be here yeah okay good excellent all right we're confused now so now we can swap out pov you are lance <laughs> all right brilliant we made quick work of misty yeah uh this dragonite is going to be carrying the weight of the world on his shoulders this is my water resist. I, it's in the rain. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I'm fast. I, I, I just, I don't know. Would using, I don't know if I should just heal and then hope I take a hit. What does it do? Like, uh, does it ice fang? Does it ice beam? Do I just go for the outrage? I don't know. Heal the confusion. Yeah. And then do I just get okoed by an ice punch? Fire type resists ice, but I don't know if it's going to use an ice move. It might just, use, it might just not have an ice move and it might use a water move. It's just not knowing. Not knowing is the issue. And I'm just trying to weigh the pros and cons. Like, what do I value most? Dragonite is my only water resist and I have a huge water weakness. I will not be sacking Dragonite. Aerodactyl's a mega Aerodactyl. What do you mean he's the weakest link? Fucking batshit insane. I do not have multi-skill yet. I say we're going to, I think Skarmory's the best odds. Okay, yeah, we're good. I'm just, 
It might be banded. It appears that my man is banded. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Town Flame is really fast. Town Flame is base 126 speed. Float Soul is 115. It's like the only stat it's got going for it, man. Y'all relied on that uh priority Gale Wings too much, and it shows. Y'all didn't even try to learn Town Flame's base speed, man. Poor bird. Wow, two calm typicals. Woo. Let's go this way. Oh, a Sigilyph. Hmm. Would I want to use a Sigilyph? Probably not over anything on my team. God, I wish I could have reserves. You know what I mean? Is there a shiny stone for sale? Be honest. King Dawnstone, man. Why did they separate them, man? I feel like coverage on Dragonite is good, but like also just, I think this is just like, this is the most basic moveset I've ever made. But I think, I mean, it just, it just works though, right? Like it's not, it just does the job. We're about to battle the eighth gym and, uh, don't have the most PP on all my moves. I don't have anything I can do about it either. Last, how much, wait, how much is this? Eight grand? Uh, sure. Fighting. Okay, well, that was, I guess that's reassuring as a fighting type gym leader. I mean, I I don't, well, Brawly is actually really scary. I think we just lead to Dragonite and then we just set up Dragon Dances if we can, because usually they lead with like a really weak Pokemon. So let's try this. It's not Brawly. Brawly always scares me, dude. Bird up. Um, You do learn Ice Punch, don't you? Maybe I just beat. Hoorah! Um, hello. This gets Ice Punch too, and she gets Ice Beam as well. Oh, sh ah, yeah, 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 yikes. Uh, Skarmory. Hey, bestie. Oh, Jesus. She wanted to murder Dragonite. She wanted to kill him. She wanted him dead. Bro, this is my bulkiest Pokemon, and it did that much to me. I'm literally perfect IVs on this Skarmory, dude. Yeah, multi heal would not have helped at all. Uh, okay, Pheromos is very scary. Okay, it's gonna just triple axel, hopefully. The, th the scariest thing about triple axel is the fact that it, um, it's um it got, because it's hitting three times, it's got equally the amount of, okay, see, so only hit once there, which is what we want. But it's got equally the amount of chances to land a crit. I'm drill packing, please. I think we, yeah, okay, see now, okay, hit twice, good. Sash, nope, no Sash. Oh. God has blessed me this day. What are you doing here? Like, why would... What does Machamp do to a Skarmory? Thunder Punch, maybe? Ice Punch? Like, I don't... Uh, fingers crossed for nothing crazy. Knock off. That's fine. Oh, he's got the Florb. Well, in that case... <laughs> that worked out very well. Oh, f right off, man. I don't... It's the fighting type one. Wait, they're both fighting type, right? What f***ing Urshifu is this? Urshifu... It is fighting dark. Okay, it's not a water type. Contrary to popular belief, it is not the water one. I don't, I know, I know the least about Urshifu. Like this mod is weird. Okay, base 97 speed. I don't have, I don't have protect on my Gliscor yet. Does it get ice punch? It should. The stance, yeah, the stance is how you tell. It does get ice punch. Okay, uh, scary. Indeed, very scary. Pokemon DB is the best, bro. Shout out Pokemon DB. True. It does have it does have an ability that goes through protect. I completely I, like I said, I don't know anything about this guy. I mean I think I don't know if acrobatics would kill, but I think I outspeed it. Yeah, a glide score definitely outspeeds this. But do I kill though? That is another question. He's detecting. You fing pussy. Sucker. Really? Yeah, I figured he didn't have anything for me. Okay. He's he's running sash. Okay. Okay, buddy. Yeah, fairy would have been great, but unfortunately. Tokitik said no. Oh, hey, it's a Verizian. Um, you're kind of scary, actually. I'm not going to lie. What does Verizian do? I don't think it learns anything to hurt me. Yeah, that's fine. And then a halucha cha 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 Easy. We passed the vibe check. We got past eight gyms with all of our birds. Whack ass Archifu set for real, dude. Bro thought he was in a free for all. Skull emoji, skull emoji, skull emoji. I mean, honestly, I'm really happy with my team. So we just need to get them uh, hooked up with some items. I'm kind of like, it's kind of bittersweet, guys. I can't believe I got Deathless and now I don't have to do it anymore. It's really bittersweet because I, I genuinely loved doing it. I loved going for Deathless, but now I've got no reason to do it. I mean, I like not having to worry about it. It's nice, but also, wow, I kind of miss it. All right, multi-scale. We want to give the Aerodactyl light to Mega Aerodactyl. Here you go. And we'll give Soshi the Toxic Orb. My Toxic King. Shiny Stone. Let's go. Guys, do we make the, the Gliscor set? You guys know the one, right? You, you know the Gliscor set. This this Gliscor set. I don't really love running it personally, but Roost instead of Protect, I have healing items. I have, I have access to healing items. I have less reason to use Roost. R Protect is a good move to scout and learn what the... Like, most of the reason I struggle against trainers is because I don't know what they're f***ing using. Other Gliscors and Skarmories? Well... Turns out I have other Pokemon on my team to assist. So we're facing Elite Four number one. This is what we're doing. We're leading Talonflame because um, we're banded Talonflame and I banded it for a reason. I banded it so we can scout and we can U-turn. 
Oh, oh wow, that's really convenient that we're facing on a grass type trainer when my whole team is flying types. That's really convenient. Thank you, video game, for having mercy on me. Send race with the boots. Bird up, bird up, bird up. Tell me why I don't just fucking flare blitz you to death right now, bro. Good thing these streams are scripted, or this could have been bad. Oh, I know, absolutely. I'm so glad these streams are scripted. How's it going, Luna? Now don't have a Cordilly. Don't do it. A Breloom? You get Rock Tomb, you cheeky f. I think Skarmory kind of just handles Breloom, though. Oh, there it is. There's the Rock Tomb. And there's the Focus Ash on Q. Bro, the animated Tapu Bulu sprite, that was sick. Um, Tapu Bulu, I don't think can do much to Skarmory. Like, Woodhammer, it gets Mega Horn, it's a fairy type. It's a play Rough, uh, Superpower. I don't think it's gonna like, I don't think it'll do much though. Yeah, Rock Slide, yeah, no, that's it. Cool, have some, have some pebbles. I love the Tapu so much, man. This Pigeon is not gonna do anything to me. Oh, that animation is hard. Die. No Rillaboom, huh? Monkey? No. Big Venusaur. Go on. Reveal the hidden power of fire to the world. I did it really just get the double protect. Does, do they really have nothing for Skarmory, dude? Anytime someone brings a Skarmory or a Celesteela, Erica just forfeits and he's like, nah. Oh, Corviknight, yeah. I always forget Corviknight to steel type. I never, I never think of him as one. Farewell. Okay, we can attempt a legendary. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? We ball. Who is it? Is it a Swords of Justice? It's Tarakian, right? Where were you in my fighting run, bro? I needed you back then. All right, Elite Four Two, Jasmine. Uh, okay. Ooh, Fortress, 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 Fortress. You set up Stealth Rocks. You explode. You have Volt Switch. Uh, you have Sturdy. I think. I think we get the f out. Yeah, let's get out here. Watch me though. What are you gonna do? It Volt Switch. It actually Volt Switched. I didn't expect it to actually volt switch. I was bluffing. Okay, it's fine. You won't like me when I'm angry. Instead of that brat, 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 brat. <laughs> that megadactyl. Mm -mm. Oh, it's got a steel beam. Okay, bye bye, aerodactyl. How? You lived? You lived. You lived. Oh, the sandstorm. Yeah, the sandstorm saved me. Oh, the, the background changed. The sandstorm saved me. Absolutely, we'll take that. He said, I lived. <laughs> volt switching. Okay, bye bye. The steel beam really did. Oh, yeah, Bisharp. Hello, buddy. Insane luck. It wasn't luck. It was skill. Megadactyl. Let's have a look at Aerodactyl's Spadath. It's 95 base special defense. I would put a little bit more respect on that. Steel Beam is very strong, but I'm also in Sandstorm. I honestly, I forgot that it had um Sturdy. I, I honestly just m assume most Magnezones are Magnet Pole, and I forget that Sturdy is a thing that it gets. But I thought a Flash Cannon, I would take that. But yeah, no, no not fucking Steel Beam. Um, Bisharp. That is a scary, 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 scary Pokemon. It's not gonna knock off because I'm a Mega, right? It wouldn't knock off a Mega. You wouldn't knock off a Mega. Surely, would it Swords Dance? I just worry about it having a Sash, dude. I'm scared of everyone having a Sash. It fucking sucks. Okay, okay, okay. He's scared of me too, that's fine. If they use Protect, then they're probably scared. Okay, that didn't even knock off. Okay, that, you know, Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl lived. Dude, this Aerodactyl does not want to die. Oh, I literally just got tricked by the oldest trick in the book. Yeah, that was completely on me, bros. I was like, if I heal up, it's going to Iron Head again. And then if I do that, I forget the AI is actually smart. Oldest trick in the book. Oldest trick in the book. I need to go back to fucking Pokey School, bro. I was like, if I heal up, he's going to crit me and Iron Head crit. So I should just attack and make sure he's gone. But then I was also like, oh, what if he uh, set up, sets up a move or protects? I, that's fucking oldest trick in the book. It's fine. It's fine. Aerodactyl ain't cooking. Shit. Oh, hello, Dialga. Why did you squish yourself like that? Uh, greetings, Dialga. I'm going to protect myself from you. You are scary. Tim would have chose Iron Head if I healed for real, dude. I actually would have. I probably should have just switched. To Skarmory. There was no reason not to. I definitely played very silly there. I'm just not sweating as hard nowadays because I don't need to fucking worry about stuff. Uh, wait, what did it use? Did it use Fire Blast? Hold on, let me... Did it use... I actually didn't pay attention to what it used. Uh, I'm pretty sure I speed it so I can just sub. Yeah, Fire Blast. Okay, that's fine. It probably doesn't have Draco or maybe it doesn't want to drop its special attack right away. Fire Blast probably does enough damage. Bye. Oh, hey. Oh, God, I wish that were me, bro. Ah, uh, Celesteela. Celesteela is a Pokemon that exists. I mean, what's it gonna do to so show? Uh, I can probably go bird up, right? Die! Okay. You are not going to Volt Switch anymore. Enough, young man. Enough. We're having an intervention. See, I thought Soshi wouldn't be very good here because I don't have Toxic to use on Steel types, but it's fine. Jarable. Your regular leftovers is nothing on my Toxic Orb, my Torb. True, you can switch the color of the like button by pressing it. Very true. Thank you. Cartana. 
Oh, I love my I love my physically defensive monster. Hmm. He's probably just gonna swords dance, right? Knock off. That's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem, my friend. Cartana is a very scary Pokemon. The Glass Core does not two hit KO with Earthquake. You're out of your damn Like let's let's tech let's test this out. Ismail is 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 Ismail cooking. I got a crit. That is that you are you are very fortunate, my friend. You are very fortunate. You are cooking. I'll put me hands up. <laughs> he has 131 base defense. How the fuck does Gliscor Oko the Tuco that? They simply predicted the crit. Yeah, you cooked, you for real did. You I mean I'll put my hands up. You did it. You did it, man. You, you told me. You told me. We need another Pokemon at this point. Mm, I don't really want to do deal with a curse. I probably need more healing items. Mm. Okay, I'm confident in my team. Let's do this. Let's battle this tough trainer. You know, I'm just I'm just gonna do this because I am I am a scumbag. I actually don't know if I have enough to do it for all of them. I do. I am a scumbag. The Elite Four is always a nerve-wracking time. Brilliant. Let's battle this tough trainer. That way, if it's a mirror match, it's a fing mirror match. I fing knew it. Oh f you. Is it the mirror match based on the last fight I did? But it just means I'm guaranteed to get another fight, another flying type. What is the best way to beat myself? Huh? Yeah, I'm thinking Dragonite might be the best. I don't have much for Skarmory or I mean Togekiss I have dual wing beat for I suppose. I'll do Skarm. I hate these mirror matches, dude. They're always so nerve-wracking. Okay. Thankfully I overleveled. Are we just gonna trade rocks? Are we just gonna trade rocks? Yep, okay. I I mean I don't know. I don't think there was anything I could do that would prevent stealth rocks. Of course you get a defense boost. Well, in that case, plus six damage. Nice. Okay, that's fine. Oh, another Dragonite. Hey buddy. I for real. It's fine. It's fine. One one dual wing beat O-code him. Nice. I was just worried about dual wing beat missing against uh Togus. I'm sorry, Town. Flame. I'm sorry, little one. Wait, I've just not been using Dragon Claw because I'm like, oh, I don't want to lock myself into outrage. I literally have Dragon Claw. What the f wrong with me, man? Whatever. Die. Yay, I beat myself. I guess I'm getting another Dragonite. Can, you can never have too many Dragonites, I suppose. Guys, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. What if, what if the Dragonite we just got, we replaced it with a Pelipper? F me, dude. Now I feel bad if I get rid of it, but like, f does not synergy with my team what are you talking about on what planet does it not synergy with my team i'm sorry i'm sorry <gasps> Pelipper. it's more for just having a different type matchup i also just rather have diversity if i if, if it's right there in front of me i'd rather have diversity i did pass up the pigeon but that is a different that is different that is different that that, that is literally an unpheasant we're talking about the throat goat Pelipper here look how useless Pelipper is what a useless mon what does this mon even do Okay, he's okay. He okay. Ignore that Pelipper. That Pelipper wasn't real. Did they have hidden power? Hidden power electric? Really? Really? Is this, is this what you're? Is this what you're working with, bro? Oh, he's got ice beam. Yes, of course he's got ice beam. Hidden power electric Greninja. Sorry, I didn't predict that, guys. That's my bad. I, I definitely could have saw that one coming. Oh, awesome! I had an electric type user to use my newly caught Pelipper on. I'm excited. Oh shit! I'll check it out. The main reason I got um. Caliper though, if we're being real, uh, was so I had weather control. I don't want like a f sand user or a f sun user or a fucking ice user to go crazy on me, you know? Rotom wash? What do you mean you're running Rotom wash? Dragonite is always the answer, apparently. Oh, you fucking wonder. Rotom doesn't pay his taxes. He launders money. Y you know what, bro? I should mod you just for that. If, if I had VIP options, I'd give you VIP just for that, bro. That was fire. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I see what happened there. This is where we full restore. Tank a blizzard casually. And then we just start earthquaking. We just, the, the ground, the ground just suddenly started shaking. And then Arctazol just fell into the abyss and died. Oh, hey, um, that's a Pokemon. Now I remember that you get sturdy. So I'm going to heal. Okay, that's fine. Wait, that was, wait, was that, was that because of multi-scale that we took? I feel like this thing specs. This thing is specs. I'm calling it now. I am called it. I called it. Boom. He wants to hydro pump me so bad. He wants to hydro pump me so bad. I do have a big brain sometimes. I, I, I'm, the, I'm the type of mother to make a play like that while also getting killed by a sucker punching Bisharp. I, it, it's just, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, you know, it's how, it's how I am. Okay. I, I forget this is what we were doing before. Okay, let me just, let's, let's just do this. Okay. And then this guy comes back in. Are we just going to do this again? Are we just doing this same dance again, bro? For real? Is this, is this what we're on? I'm just going to substitute this time. Yeah, I'm going to make sure Rotom dies. And um, we're going to heal Dragonite. He missed. Right, he's dead anyway. We have Pinchurch in. Oh my god, this fucking guy. You are absolutely running a water type move. Okay, never mind. He protects. Are you going to poison a, 
I mean, it's... I don't know, man, dude. I, it's, Pokemon isn't real. Oh, you missed. Awesome. I was got scald. Okay, cool. Don't get burned. Don't get burned. Don't get burned. Don't get burned. Thank you. This guy again. I'll just start this time. It didn't have sturdy. And then Mega Manetric. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna skip routes at this point. I don't need routes. I'm too I'm too grown to be using routes. This is Elite Four number four. Alright, we got this. Ah, we're fighting Blaine. Okay. He has the sun up. And this is the exact reason why I wanted Pelipper. I foresaw this in a dream. Oh my days. Oh, that was a banded crit. Fair. It is a rainbow run, yes. I always do rainbow runs for these. It's much more fun. God damn, bro. He actually just said your wig gone. Wig flew. Um, what else would he do now? Nothing so she can't handle, I think. Ah, no. I can't believe he used toxic. This sucks, man. God, why would you use toxic? Man, I guess I got a full restore now. Idiot. You bumbling buffoon. You bumbling buffoon. I have not been on my A game tonight. If I win, it will be a miracle. All right, go ahead. Use the ice type move on me. I dare you. Use the ice type move. Oh, he actually has it. Oh, he actually has it. Victini is a scary Pokemon because it learns literally everything. Yeah, I think Victini actually just handles my entire team. That looks about right. Okay. I don't know if I speed it now though because of this. I don't think I sped it to begin with, to be honest. But I definitely don't have speed it now. So I don't know what it's going to fire at me. It very likely could fire like a, um, like a fusion flare, which I'm not confident I would live. I can't. I want to I want to thunder wave it yes but if it uses fusion bolt or something uh I'm just trying to think fusion bolt's physical um I should be able to take it to be honest okay it's just glaciating that's fine okay it's paralyzed let's just air slash it uh hello can I interest you in my lord and savior thunder thunder wave perfect farewell brother oh you lived Oh, okay. I, I don't know why you're running toxic. It's a bit weird, but whatever. Oh, he did mystical fire me to be fair. Entei. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going, man? Oh, what does Entei do to a well-trained Gliscor? I need to stop. So like, I'm a man that doesn't particularly enjoy moves that have low accuracy. I don't ever, I, if, if I can run Rock Slide over Stone Edge, I will run Rock Slide over Stone Edge. Unless we're trying to activate Blunder Policy, that's a different story. Either way, I always forget about moves like Focus Blast and Stone Edge. And it's a problem because I almost left Pelipper in thinking Entei doesn't do anything to me, but he has Stone Edge. And I wouldn't have thought of that, but you guys would have. That's my, that's my problem. I don't, I don't think about that shit. Mega Houndoom is kind of scary, but thankfully it's not in permanent sun, so it shouldn't do too much. At least preferred accuracy. I don't really like going below 90% if I can help it and be nice to him. I'm sorry. I don't really like going below 90% if I can help it. It's okay. The puppy dog will live to see another day. All right. Now we just got to battle the two champions. Like the monotype runs are nice for just having like almost like a perfect team. Like I, I literally just get like a team that I'm happy with. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to keep fighting because I've got no reason to keep searching for other Pokemon because like I'm not going to find anything else. The champion is Phoebe. I'm happy to see a Phoebe champion battle. Runarigus. Uh, this Pokemon is scary to face because of the fact. Oh, okay. Oh, yep. Sure. Thank you. Okay. That, that was... That was a play. Great. Good job, man. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, my, I'm not using dual wing B on this shit, man. I'm so glad the stream is scripted. I scripted it to be quirky this time around. Do I have speed a lot of ass with a scarf Pelipper? I'm not actually sure. I doubt it. Let's have a look. Need more EVs. All right. Unlucky Pelipper. I'm going to set this one out, buddy. Uh, okay. So I'm assuming... I'm pretty sure Gliscor has speeds, but Gliscor only has Earthquake, so I can't hit hit it with anything okay i'll do this okay that's fine how many times have i lost this this run in particular uh we lost it once this is my second attempt at this run uh we lost it once because we encountered what's in it what's in it a really unfortunate time um yeah this guy is really scary i'm gonna drop a safe state because um this thing can break your game i, I feel like they would have fixed it by now but like i'm just nervous so um uh okay runarigus i don't think it does much to soshi okay bye bye all it really does is get rid of my ability, I suppose, which would, but I, I think that's if I contact her, right? Um, I don't remember exactly how, it, okay, I'm just going to talk to Oh, dude, she doesn't, her ass does not want to fight. Dude, what the hell is with all the switches, man? Oh, whatever. She really does want zero smoke. Genderfish. I was confused. I thought she had a dragon team going on, but it was just Jertina and Dragapult. Taunt, you fucking loser. Grow up. What is wrong with you, man? Gliscor is a fucking monster, bro. Oh yeah, I'm taunted. Oh, it's got Infiltrator. Good to know. Farewell, Phoebe. Uh, sorry, Dragonite. Bye-bye. Dragonite? 
uh, Dragapult. Dude, I, I do not know how to speak. Oh, hello, Frostlass. No funny business, okay, Frostlass? I'm protecting. I'm protecting. Leave me alone. I'm getting my health back. You're shadow balling again. Okay. Why are you not running Ice Beam? I think if, if Gliscor gets poisoned by the move Toxic, I think Gliscor should slowly gain HP. Like, you know how Toxic racks up? I think he should heal like that too. That would that would be fair and balanced. This is, this is a really fun strat, by the way, guys. I love this. This is awesome. I'm having a lot of fun right now. <laughs> Oh, Gliscor is such a bull on, dude. He's such an asshole, dude. Didn't want to risk the destiny bond. And maybe it was Scarf, who knows? Uh, Runa Rigus. Oh, she didn't switch it out this time. Oh, no. Gameplay. For real, dude. For real. Actual gameplay. Oh. Oh, no. I have a full flying team and he used toxic spikes on me. I'm safe stating again because I'm very afraid of it doing some shenanigans with this ability. All right, peace. Bro, he literally can't touch me. Oh, that is so unlucky, bro. I'm so sorry, man. Damn, that did nothing. Farewell. They did not let Runerigus cook. Unlucky, lol, bro. He wanted to be a Gliscor so bad. He had Toxic Spikes. He had Earthquake. Oh, hey, Giratina. Does Shadow Force go through Substitute? I know, I know it goes through Protect. I mean, I highly doubt he's rocking Shadow Force, but I'm just curious more than anything. Rest. Bro, his ass wanted to take a nap. He got into the battlefield and was like, nah. <laughs> To be honest, probably didn't have anything to do to um to do to me. So like the AI kind of just gets stuck. All right, nice. Champion defeated. And Phoebe says, D's nuts. One more champion. Now, part of the reason why I like doing rainbow runs is because the champion is always red. And red fucking sucks ass 99% of the time, so. What's up, Venomoth? Get out of my game, Venomoth. I don't need nothing. Let's do it. Rainbow run finale of uh, fly flying types. Oh, this fucking guy again. Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, I don't really feel like having him knock off my toxic card before I get it set up. Um, I'll just go slipstream. Yeah, there's the knockoff. I saw that one coming a mile away. Unfortunate that I am no longer... Okay, have some have some rocks. Also love how insane I am, by the way. I'm literally running a mono flying team and I have no rapid spinner or, or no defogger. Actually the most insane Pokemon player of all time. I just don't believe in hazards, man. As I just stealth rocked, I, I just don't believe in hazards. They're not real. All right, let's just brute force our way through this Bisharp, I think. Ah, he's got Pursuit. I, ah, okay, Pursuit, Sucker Punch, Knock Off, Iron Head. He's like, he's like in a Salt Vest or something. I don't know. I hate playing against them. Yeah, exactly, dude. They only seem to spawn if you are actively trying to counter them. Oh, hey, Cinderace. Hi, dude. Oh, how are them heavy duty boots working out for you? Aha, you don't have them. Cinderace. And this is why we have a Pelipper, the Throat Goat. Let me get a little drizzle up in this bitch. Yeah, I... I mean, honestly, I just don't really like... I don't I don't like using Defog. I just don't. I just don't. He's got the Lorb. Chat, you know what to do, Bran. He's got the Lorb. What do you think about that? Uh... Oh, Flying type. Oh, he used Bounce. Okay, farewell. He said, my people need me. If you paralyze me, your mom's a... Okay. 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 Bro tried to sucker punch me. Not again, Satan. I'm Scarf, boys. I cannot Ice Beam. Do not Ubu in my chat. There's a $5,000 penalty for Ubuing in my chat. Okay, Cinderace is gone. Cal brother. There's no way you brought this fucking Mon out. Are you serious? What do I do against this fucking Haunts? Cali Rex. This Mon is a problem. I mean, thankfully, it doesn't have much coverage moves, but it's still a problem. I think we just do a little bit of switching. What do you do? I forget what this Pokemon does. Okay, use a Psy Shock. That's fine. That's a lot of damage. Don't crit me. Thank you. I appreciate new viewers a lot because like it's so hard to grow on YouTube. I'm just like, oh my God, there's a new viewer here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I feel special. They, I'm not insufferable to new viewers. People don't just stick around because I'm all they know. Yeah, I appreciate everybody that watches the streams though. I'm really glad that we've got a consistent group of people that likes watching these Emerald Rogue streams. It's it's really motivating. I've I love, I love streaming Emerald Rogue. All right, bye-bye Among Us. Pre-Marina is a scary Pokemon when it wants to be. Too bad I'm a Togekiss with a fat dump truck. Watch this. Am I just going to win with a, a, an air slashing Togekiss? Is this what we're is this what we're doing in 2023? All right. It is not a Snorlax. It is not a Mega. It is a Snorlax. I, it, is, it is a Snorlax. It is factually a Snorlax. Thank you. Fully paralyzed as well. Yeah, I think if whenever we do a fairy run, we got to lead Togekiss, man. This shit's evil. Yeah, I'm just talking to chat because like, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of just kind of just air slashing. You're also from the top 10 ugly shinies video. Bro, there's no way. How do you guys come subscribe to me from that? That, that? I look back on that and I'm like, dude, that's the worst content on the planet. Holy shit. Thanks for not finding me insufferable. I really appreciate it, guys. I feel like I'm insufferable, so thank you. Yeah, my script ran well this time around. Yay, we won the flying mono. Let's go. And with that, we won our third monotype challenge. 
on a real note, I am really sorry that these videos haven't been coming out as frequently as I had hoped. Once Sky and I get settled and uh, we're able to financially invest, I will definitely look for an editor to help with these streams because right now I'm definitely spreading myself a bit too thin. Either way, uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys did in fact enjoy. If you did, uh, I wanted to shout out a few things here at the end. I have a second channel where we post free for all content pretty regularly. It's uh, really refreshing to have uh, a second channel where I can post stuff that I still enjoy doing, but it doesn't really perform the best on the main channel. So if you wondered where free for alls went, they're on the second channel. I also have a throne page. Uh, for those that don't know, it's kind of just like a wish list. Currently, the throne page is almost empty. Uh, basically, Sky and I just put on a bunch of stuff that we needed for the animals. And just by talking about it in streams, uh, people have been kind enough to donate. And it's been really, really appreciative and really, really helpful for us, especially during this huge change in our lives. As I'm recording this, my computer is like six years old. Uh, it's getting on in age. Uh, and it's getting harder and harder to edit these videos. I genuinely think about three quarters of the time it takes me to edit my videos is because of how long my computer takes to just play back what I have just edited. I will do an edit and I will press play just to watch it back and I'm just sat there waiting for a disgusting amount of time. So I might eventually put like computer parts on there uh, just to help. But yeah, if you're looking for ways to support me, uh, the throne page is uh, definitely a way you can support me now and you know exactly what your money is going towards. Besides that though, just thank you so much for getting towards the end. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. I've been loving putting out these, uh, I guess, bigger edited videos. They're a lot more fulfilling and um, the goal is to put them out more regularly. As for the rewards of um, the flying mono run, uh, all the mono runs give the same rewards. Uh, they give you the sky plate, or well, in this case, it's the sky plate. Uh, but in, you know, the other, for example, the bug plate uh, for the bug run. And uh, they also give you the uh, Silvalli disc. So they basically give you Arceus and Silvalli's discs. Th those are the rewards for all the monotype runs, respectively. So for the future runs, if I leave out what my reward was, it's because they're all the same. But yes, three done, 15 more to go. Stay tuned, because next up is Mono Poison.